welcome back to another video where we're working on the Jeep in the basement. Um, and today we're going to be upgrading one of the best investments that I ever made. I paid around $100 for it, 400 dirhams, and that is my winch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a wireless remote on it so that when we do winching, I can have a remote. In a previous video, I'll put the tag up here. I installed an inside hard mounted switch for it, uh, for the winch so that I can use it while I'm inside the Jeep without having to get out, put the cable on and stuff like that. And now I'm taking it one step further where I am using a remote control to control it. So let's jump into the video where I show you um, what is in the package and then we'll get to installing it. Okay guys, so this is the package that came from AliExpress, got it delivered, I just cut it open so that it's easier to take to open up with one hand. Um, ooh. Instructions. The instructions are actually in English and they give you some troubleshooting things as well they give you how to lie to wire it up everything in there so that's instruction we'll see how the instructions go when i actually install it and here is the packet with the actual product so i get two two remotes uh well that looks good that switches it on they're actually a bit bigger than i thought they would be Okay, so we have two of those, and then we have the controller brain box that hooks up to the terminals of the, the winch, inside the control box of the winch. So yeah, that's everything that came in the package. Let's get to installing it. Okay, so after that unboxing, or unpackaging, um, to install this, we need to take apart the winch cover, um, and it's actually super easy to do that just a screwdriver to do it so let me show you how I take that apart and then I'll talk to you through the wiring and how I just connect the colors to the right colors here we go okay guys so on my particular winch I need a flat tip screwdriver and I need a Phillips head screwdriver um, just to take this cover off um, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be putting this controller box that came in the package. This will be installed inside this little brain box and it will switch on when I switch my controller on. Um, other than that, it should be free and it should not activate in anything. It should only be activated in regards with its controllers. Hopefully nobody else were the same one as I did in the same area as me. <laughs> or else it might just pull the winch into itself. Um, so yeah, so let's get into the disassembly of the winch so that I can get this one installed. Get you guys on a close up. That one's too big. Love having a bunch of interchangeable.
and then also like using power tools. Way too lazy to turn it by hand. this control box away. Um, specific winches, you can put the whole winch inside the bumper. Looking back at it, I could have probably done that when I did my bumper, um, but I kind of like the way that this whole setup is in the front here, so yeah. And just as I remember, this is the little bit dusty on the inside controller box or solenoid of the winch. And there is actually, there was previously another um, controller in here, a wireless controller, but I didn't get the, the actual remote with it. So, yeah, this is going to be taken off. I'm just going to put my new little brain box in there. And then I have a wireless um, winch again. So, let's disconnect everything and get everything knocked back in. And just so that you can see, these are all the screws. Uh, I think I might have dropped one. But yeah, these are all of the screws that I just took out of the little plastic part to get my winch open. So basically what I'm going to do is, this thing already has all the wires that this one has. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go and reconnect these wires in the same places as these ones were connected and then we should be good to go um, it seems like yeah so four wires plus your antenna wire that goes into the correct places in here and then we are good to go i'm not exactly sure which one goes where but the instructions actually tell you exactly which point it goes to but as you guys know I'm not really one for instructions, but there are there are little indications on here what has to go where. I'm just going to go on the same wiring as the old one, and that's good to go. So the other wiring that is in here is pretty much the wiring that I put in here for my hardwired switch on the inside of the Jeep. Um, and there is a lot of other and the other is, is just it works how from the normal connector in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go one by one go through the wires make them loose loosen them up and then reconnect them again as we go along sorry if my hands are in the way Remember to disconnect your battery before you're doing this. Um, don't be like me and not disconnect it when you should have at the beginning. Remember to disconnect your battery at the beginning. That's the first wire in place. That's the yellow wire. Next up, black wire. The red wire I'm going to leave for last because that one connects back here. Um, or maybe I should do that one first. Ugh. I'll leave the red one for last. Let's do the black one first, just going in a line. So the back black is the neutral one. And it tells you all of that on the side of the the winch as well. If you watched my first winch install video, you would have seen me shock, basically almost shock myself. 
I saw the sparks flying and I did not get shot, luckily. So yeah, okay, that's black, yellow, off, up next, white. This is actually a super easy install, so any, anybody can do it. My white one. Okay, so that one is now complete, almost completely taken out. Sorry if my arm is in the way. I'll show you guys now a better angle. Okay, so up until now, we have our control box. We have our yellow, white and black wires connected to the specific spots. And the last one that I'm going to connect is the red wire that goes onto this terminal at the back here. So that's my next step going to be. I just need to get the spanner so that I can actually loosen that one up. Okay, just loosening it up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And there it is. This one is now trash. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the remaining red wire. I'm going to stuff it through the middle here. Take this one, add it back on, put the terminal back in place. Take my wing nut or my lock, not wing nut, uh, spring washer. And there we go. Ugh. Need to put this washer back in before I put the spring washer on so that it can actually, so that it doesn't damage the terminals. Okay, so there we go. Now my controller box is in place. Remote is switched on. Now, all that's left to do is, before I put everything of that together, I need to figure out if the controller is actually working or not. Okay, so I just walked around the Jeep twice <laughs> looking for my controller. Um, first thing we do is, I'm just going to test it first. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to switch it on here. At the top there's a little button, there's a little red light that comes on. And if I did everything correctly, hopefully I did, fingers crossed. If I press out, the winch will push out. If I press in, the winch will push back in. So, let's see, if, fingers crossed that this will work. <laughs> okay, it works. Um, cool. So, let's pull this back in. There we go. Winch works. Controller works. Let's just switch this back off so that it doesn't activate by itself. And there we go. So now, I have my remote control, I have a hardwire, and I have my lead that I can put in on the top of the brain box as well. So I'm going to put all of this together, have a little quick chat about it. Possibly, maybe not even. Um, and then show you how I will mount this on the inside of the Jeep to keep it in a safe, accessible uh, location the whole time. So yeah, let's go.
bottom back on. Um, I'm not exactly sure how waterproof this is because, well, the actual unit is. I hope it's waterproof because this thing is not waterproof. <laughs> the water can run in from any and all sides of it. So let's just hope that it is actually that unit is waterproof. Tip again. I actually need to spray this bumper because the guy that I bought it from said he sprayed it with bed liner, but it was it, it has already been coming off like really badly and the bumper looks horrible. So I need to take it off. Spray it so that it can look all nice. So there it is. Nobody would even know that I have a wireless controller in my winch. Okay, so previously in one of my videos I put a little flashlight uh, retainer up here. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So it's a little 3D printed flashlight retainer. And because I now want to put my controller here. Where is my controller? Okay, 3D printer. Oh controller and then where is my little container here we go so i 3d printed this little container so that my controller can slide into the top of it i put a little bit of carpet up here a foot piece that you can put under a chair or whatever put that in there so that it slides in nice and snugly um, i'm hoping this will last because this plastic is actually pla which is not known to hold up in the sun uh, but this isn't supposed to hold it like from we'll see how it goes <laughs> we'll see how it goes so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the, the flashlight holder I'm going to put this in there pop this in there and see how it lasts if it lasts great if it doesn't last I'll just print it with a different material so that can actually withstand the heat and on the back of it I put a piece of uh, well, double-sided tape on it so it will stick in I just need to press it down for about 30 seconds and there we go so let's remove the flashlight holder and then stick this one in oops I broke the holder I can just take the rest of it off as easily as I want Because now I need to reprint the whole thing. Yeah, I need to reprint the whole thing, so... <sighs> yeah. So, there's a bit of double-sided tape still sitting here. I'm just gonna take this off. This actually held on really well. Here we go, tape is off, now it's time to glue this in place, but before I glue it in place, I quickly need to check that when I close the door, that it does not hit against the plastic of the innards of the Jeep, uh, that's why I couldn't have both of them there, so I'm just gonna hop in, see where it goes, and then I'll stick it in. <laughs> sticking it in place. There we go. Stuck in. Sliding my controller in. And I can close the door. Hopefully I didn't knock it off now. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So there is my little controller. 
Okay, so usually when I winch somebody, um, I get out of the car, I hook up my cable myself, and then I get back in the car to press the button to winch it, or I hook up the, the cable that needs to go onto the winch. Now, from now on, I don't have to do that. I have my wireless controller with me to help me to tuck up the rope after I use it uh, securely without having somebody showing me wrongly how and then I damage my winch rope. So um, with that, it's gonna be a lot easier. I'll put up a link um, in the description about the actual controller that I used. So that if you want to, you can check it out. It wasn't super expensive, it came off of AliExpress. And then also I will put a link to my other video where I hard mounted the winch switch on the inside of the Jeep as well, also on a 3D printed um, little hook on there. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And then yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers guys, have a fantastic one.